Hello, and welcome to my very first Let's Play video. In fact, it's my very first video. Um, alright. Uh, so I'm going to start off my YouTube experience with a game called RimWorld, as you could probably guess by the title screen. I'm just going to jump right into this. New Colony. Um, I know that when I play Cassandra, I always end up just dying horribly, so I'm going to do Chill Kelly Classic. I probably should have turned on a timer before I started this recording, but I didn't, so oh well. Uh, Thomas, da da da. I want to try to get somebody, yeah, good mining skill. I sh am going to name him something goofy. What is something goofy? Goofy is pretty goofy. Goofy the miner. <laughs> Goofy the Miner. Uh, you don't need research for very long. I'm not going to do that. However, 7-7, seven, seven, that's pretty good. I think I get better there than for shooting in melee. Melee, melee, melu, meludidu. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't mean anything to me. Social. Social, I don't really know what that does. What does that do? Uh... Okay, yeah, I, I don't really need that very much. Uh, hold on, what is cooking? Alright, that doesn't do anything, that's what I thought. You know, I... I don't know what I want this growing, that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to name this guy... Mm, something really cool, like... How do you spell it? I don't trust my spelling for that. I'm probably way off. Why don't I do... Leonardo. Uh, randomize. Here, this one, I'm just going to randomize like five times. One, two, three. Oh, I... Start over. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I don't know what happened there a second ago. Alright, well... Zebo. Hold on a second. I can't do anything but research and fight. Good. That's always a good sign. Let's start and see what's going on. Generating world can sometimes take a while. Uh, oh, that was weird. Okay, this is... I don't know if you guys actually heard that. This game is still alpha, so... It's gonna have some bugs and stuff. Uh, the three of you awake in your long sleep uh, sarcophagy, that's a weird word, to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Way to go. You suck. A few hours later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. All right. Uh, hold on, let me turn this down a little bit. Okay, so first thing is first. Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, yeah, I already know this. Hold on a second, let me... Uh, tutorial... What? Okay, it's giving me a tutorial even though I have it disabled. Um, looks like it stopped. Let's just halt this stuff real quick. Uh, architect. So... Let me go over this. You build walls and stuff, and create buildings. I actually, I kind of like this spawn. It's kind of secluded. That's always a good thing to have. I'm gonna wait for these guys to haul all their stuff so that they don't stop. Mm. Kind of want it to be somewhat near this. Oh, I want it to be kind of over here. Then uh, I'll build it over here. Actually. going to want a door right there. Right there. That's probably good. So much for secluded if I put it right here. <sighs> Whatever. The reason why I wanted to put this here is because the steam geyser in over here clear. Above that, sometimes you'll have vents like a, a solar flare or an eclipse. 
And right now you only have two ways of getting energy, and that's through solar generators or geothermal generators. And these work well. Geothermal generators work very well. And they won't turn off when you have, what is it, uh, an eclipse. It won't turn off when you have an eclipse, which is good, because these will. It does not work in the dark, produces electricity from the sunlight, needs a direct power link. This one, it has to be placed on a geyser, so it, it can only be used. Like, it, it's less usable. Solar panels you can put anywhere. Um, let's see, I'm going to want to start creating beds. For now, we might just end up sharing a place. Hold on, actually, I think it's probably even more important to start getting power, so let's build one of these now. And then, we'll build a power conduit, going from here to there. So that'll power this whole building. Anything in this building with wires can be attached to these walls as long as they're close enough. Um, hold on. Should I put a floor in, or should I wait? Because later you can research carpets and use those. Uh, sandbags. Hold on. Normally, yeah, you get jobs with the gun. Alright, I know that I can pause it just like that. You can pause. Um, somebody should equip this. That should be me, because I can shoot. Uh, here we go. Goofy doing work. Leonardo doesn't have anything to do. Why don't I split this up into rooms? They're going to be pretty cramped rooms. Oh, uh, whatever. Somebody will have a bigger room than the other two. But then I'll get some beds in here. It's always good to have two lamps because in, then it's brightly lit. I don't know if that has any positive effects, but I think it looks nicer. Dude, I didn't build this building even at all. That's going to put OCD people into an angry state of mind. That would be fine. What I like about this, its power output is 4,000. Its connected rate is 3,400 currently. That'll increase with these lights. But that's how much... Or 4,000 is how much it has. And 3,250 is how much it's using. Connected storage is going to be for batteries. It's going to show how much of its energy is being put into batteries. It might actually be nice to build, like, a little room here and just have a battery room for emergency power that I can just connect when I need it. Say, each colonist work settings in the overview at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, whatever. Don't you job. Whatever. I already know that stuff. So we need a place for food. Um, I'm going to need to build another. Here, let me plan this out. Uh, I guess we're going to have a cactus in our food room. Unless we can just build over it. Maybe I'll need to make them cut it. I'm going to speed this up. Yeah, they totally can just build over it. Oh, we need a door as well. Okay, they have chosen their beds. I get the middle room. I'm going to sell these. You don't actually get anything for selling those. Um... Research bench. Who was our researcher? Was it Leonardo? Ah, I should have put Leonardo as the researcher. Because then that'd be like Leonardo da Vinci. And who wants Goofy researching? Like, seriously. <laughs> um, the thing is, I am a medieval lord. That means that I can't do cleaning, hauling, plant cutting, mining, growing, repairing, or constructing. However, background soldier, that gives me m more shooting, more hand-to-hand. -hand. I'm just going to call it hand-to-hand, -hand, because I know somebody's going to be like, oh, you're saying it wrong. So more shooting, more hand-to-hand, -hand, less social, warden disabled, and doctoring disabled. So, pretty much I'm only here for researching, shooting, and fighting, but I'm going to myself. Yeah, I'm not researching. Goofy is, me is researching. Um, hold on, that means zero, that means two. So you're going to be our warden. Um, you're going to do the doctoring. Hmm. 
This is good. Yeah, 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 I know. Get your tutorials out of here. So you can see, these people like to sleep with the lights on because they're weird. I'm not going to build floors quite yet. Okay, I've never seen a buffalo. Oh, hey, wait, it start, just started raining. I don't know what kind of effects that has. I think it might affect your aim when you're fighting. That's not a big problem right now. So this is going to be where we do stuff. I'm going to put... Where's a door? Put a door there. Oh man, I just realized that isn't lined up. Oh well, I don't care. I'm gonna keep on mentioning those things just because I feel like other people might care. And they might feel a little bit better if I say that I noticed. Alright, so... Put that, put that... Oh, there we go. So what I'm gonna put in here... Is a nutrient... Oh, come on. Not enough metal, okay. Oh, no, that's not, what am I doing? I don't need that. Uh, I'm going to set it so that we mine this. Actually, I'm gonna cancel some of that because I don't need that much right now. But now people should go and start mining. I'm still just gonna do nothing. Oh, I'm a female, good. <laughs> uh, that That's always a good thing to hear, that you're actually a female. So this is our world, let's look around. Oh yeah, I was saying, sorry. I've never seen a muffalo do this. Did I, did I just say sing? I've never seen a muffalo do this, but I've seen squirrels will occasionally go berserk and attack your colonists. They'll just run over and start bashing on doors really loudly and it's kind of scary, but whatever. But I, I think that muffalo can do it too. Right now they don't serve any purpose other than... Or animals in general don't serve any purpose other than to do that. Um, I'm sure in the future you'll probably be able to farm them and get food from them and stuff. Alright, we're gonna start hauling the stuff up here. Man, stockpile areas, you can make more of those, but they cost a lot of metal. But it, it's really useful to have those near your mining areas, because otherwise there's a lot of moving around. Um, one thing I would like to do in this game is I, I hope that they make it so that you can set a bunch of different things at once. Like right now, if, if you have some stuff to mine and some stuff to haul, but you really want to haul the stuff now and mine that stuff later, I wish that you could, because you can set priorities, if you have something that you want to do, like, I could say you, if there was something here, I could right click and say prioritize hauling that, but they'll only haul that one item, if there was a pile of stuff here, I would have to do it one at a time, I, I wish that I could do it in larger numbers. Okay, these people are probably going to go to eat now, yep, um, I would like to get a table for them. And some chairs. It doesn't really matter. It just it's nicer that way. Uh, that that's too big. Uh, I can put that here. I don't know if they'll be able to get to this though. Why can't I put that here? Interaction location is blocked. Oh, there's a light in the way. Um. Drop beacon. I'm not going to need that quite yet. Research bench. I'm going to put that on the outside because I have more space on the outside and it can't short circuit in the rain. This, I think, probably could. Lights can short circuit in the rain. Um, I'm going to set research hydroponics. That'll let us make hydroponic tables which we can grow crops in. Usually it'll tell you, oh, you need to have defenses, so it'll try to make you put turrets down. I never find those all that useful. Hold on. Brightly lit. That whole room is brightly lit. It doesn't feel as brightly lit. Down here in the corner, you can see 
the details on the terrain that you're moused over. And you can see how it affects your uh, walk speed and what's going on. However, it doesn't look like it's going to tell you your rock debris and stuff like that. That will affect your walk speed. You'll go slower if you go over that. But your people will normally walk around it. This little symbol means that it's broken. Things will deteriorate over time. Um, let's see. Equipment rack. I might want to get one of those early because I always forget. Um, what other stuff can I do? I probably want to make a growing area for now. Probably two. Where can I have that? I mean, I could put it here, but there's plants in the way and I don't want to have to deal with those. You know, whatever. I'll put one here, and can I put one there? Yes, I can. Those will just be placed instantly. You don't need people to build those. It's just designating an area. Um, can I... I can't... Uh, they're just gonna go and plant things, even though there's already stuff there. Um... I, I use the arrow keys to move. You can use the edges, but the reason why I don't use the edges is because I have two monitors, and your cursor will go off the screen when you go to the right side. I wish that it could lock that so that it doesn't, but whatever. It might happen in the future. The game is only an alpha. How long have I been recording? I don't even know. <laughs> That's why I should have set a, a, set a timer. Um... I haven't really set an intro for this. I just kind of started. I never even said, hey, I'm Zebo or anything like that. Um, there's not much going on right now. I'll just fast forward. Well, they plant a bunch of things. Hey, Goofy, I would like to get you to start some researching. Here, basically what this screen is, actually you can also do firefighting, basically what this screen is, is it lets you set your work, so, since Zevo can't do any of this stuff, it's not an option, he could do this one in this one, uh, maybe I should just keep you doing everything, and just set Zevo here, I don't want you to do that, and just set Zevo as researching, that way, He's actually doing something. But yeah, now they're gonna eat on the table. It doesn't really mean anything. I don't think that they get any bonuses. That would be under thoughts. They don't like eating nutrient paste. Um, there might be an option in the future, maybe when you start farming animals. Because I'm sure they're gonna do that. I don't really know if they will, but I'm, I'm almost certain. But maybe you can get something in the future, whoops, that doesn't give you this little minus on your happiness, what, what would you call that, mood lit or something, it doesn't give you a, it doesn't give you a bad effect when you eat nutrient paste, I had to eat nutrient paste, I know it keeps you alive, but nobody wants to swallow that glop, I don't know, I think there are some people who are trying to go on diets that would easily swallow that glop. Look at me, doing research. Um, the downside to not having hydroponics is that occasionally an event will happen that will kill all of your crops and squirrels and stuff will come over and eat your stuff. And hydroponics lets you do it indoors. Also, hydroponics is good because these grow in two days and once you get hydroponics, I think they grow in like a day and a half or like 1.6 days or something like that. Maybe it's 1.4. I'm not sure. Once these people are done planting, I'm sure they're probably going to go and start mining. Either that or they're going to sleep. It is getting kind of dark. In the beginning, setting up things is not very exciting. Um, they are going to think that this is an ugly environment, so I'm probably going to put plant pots... the place. 
now when they get up they'll build those and then probably plant things in there that'll make the environment a little bit more enjoyable there they go once they're in building they're probably gonna plant yep there we go drop me i don't have enough metal uh thank you right when i knew that you guys go and each spot generally drops 35 metal there is a lot of metal to be found, but you know what I've never done that I probably should do sometime? I've never abandoned bases and put them elsewhere. You do get to name your settlement, but you need to do that later. So you need defenses. They'll tell you that. Okay, you've been here for some time and have probably been seen. Pirate raids will start soon. You should prepare defenses build some auto turrets. Generally when they say that I tend to ignore it because auto turrets are not very effective. They're expensive and they connect to wires. They don't short circuit but they just blow up most of the time. They're, they aren't accurate. You're usually better off with somebody like Zebo here who... character sorry who has a high shooting skill. Now it wants us to get an equipment rack. You have nowhere to store weapons and equipment. Build an equipment rack. Um, I don't really need to. That's not a big deal. I guess I'll put one there. Um, what else should I do? I don't know what to do now. Batteries. I should probably get some batteries. I like to put my batteries ever since, like, the first time that I played this game, and... My batteries started short-circuiting. I decided I'm going to put my batteries inside a place. So I'm going to build another room here. It's not going to be very big. In fact, it's just going to be a small cramped room. <laughs> now I'll put that there. And inside I'm going to... Where is it? Structure? No, build. Oh, no. Cancel it. In it, I'm just going to put three batteries. And a single lamp. The reason why I'm only putting three batteries is because uh, if I put more in these spaces, my people won't be able to repair them. What is this? Oh, a local squirrel has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. Goofy is being attacked. Here. That drafts your person so you can control them directly and they'll only listen to orders that you do. So now... Bam. They will attack automatically. Now I've got this squirrel here. Generally... I like to set that to not take things, it'll only take meals and debris. Debris? Debris, sorry. And then I'll set another dumping area elsewhere, and I'll have that just be for bodies. Because even though you can make graves, it's not very effective. But if I make another dumping area elsewhere, then I can have controlled fires to burn away the... the... the bodies. Sorry based out there <laughs> but I can unforbid him so now people will go and carry him away let me set that to that storage I do not want to take debris or meals just bodies now he's gonna take that away oh yay next thing I want is probably pneumatic picks or nutrient resynthesis um probably nutrient resynthesis for now yeah. Even though carpet making is one of my favorites, I you know what I don't understand? When you research carpets, um, where is it? Structure. When you research carpets, you'll get three colors of carpets. We see this: uh, paved tiles, metal tiles, and concrete. Those all take one metal per square. Um, carpets take three. What what kind of metal do you need in carpets? Definitely, in real life, you would need more metal for metal tiles than you would for metal carpets. 
And I understand it's because carpets actually add beauty to the room, so your people will be happier when they're in the rooms. Like, look at that. Goofy was wounded, so he's scared and less happy. Oh yeah, loyalty. I should probably should have gone over this. Loyalty, mental break threshold is right there. If their loyalty goes below that, they can have mental breaks. I don't know what that does. I haven't actually had one yet. They probably end up like attacking people and stuff. Loyalty will always be equal to happiness or fear, whichever one is higher. So, early on, happiness is a better way to go. Um, I've only had one game where I've had to resort to fear. On your research screen, Fear Tech 1. There isn't anything else other than these right now, but Fear Tech 1, new ways to inspire fear. You get to, uh, probably shouldn't tell you. Learn it for yourselves, or watch the rest of Let's Play later. Um, actually, hold on a second. Uh, I don't know how long I've been going, so I'm just going to end it right here. So... I don't know what to do for an outro. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna beat that guy. Uh, Alright, well, I, I might see you guys next time. I hope I do. So, peace out.